Now, the theme for 2024 seems to be all about who's in charge. From South Africa to Algeria, a third of the continent's nations will choose new governments this year. They include coup hit Mali, Chad and Burkina Faso if their military leaders keep their word. There are 18 elections scheduled in this continent this year alone. Political analyst Siaduma Beniza joins us now to unpack Africa's expectations during this uh, election year. Uh, thank you so much for your time, Mr. Beniza, here on ENCA. Uh, you know, how is this likely to affect especially some of our free trade agreements, for instance? Sure. Um, I think to a large extent there will be a lot of continuity largely because, um, at least from South African and Southern African perspective, uh, a lot of the governments and democracies are relatively stable. Um, however, this will reopen a lot of opportunities that had initially or historically been closed down over the last two years, particularly considering uh, the West African and Sahel countries, specifically Mali, Burkina Faso and Chad, whom over the last two years had um, unconstitutional changes in power. And so those are countries that are currently under transitional authorities. And obviously, if they hold peaceful and fair elections, then the expectations is that all the restrictions that were put against these countries will now be lifted and the international community will re-engage a lot of these countries. And uh, this also applies to some East African countries, including South Sudan. Um, and so a large part in the rest of the continent does hold on these countries holding free and fair elections in order for them to be re-engaged in the international community and for trade and normal economic relations to resume.